The American University in Cairo's chemistry department has held a great deal of esteem throughout the years. But recently, it has faced particular degradation in standards due to a lack of equipment and allocation of budget. With the recent university budget cuts, material-heavy departments like chemistry have suffered more than most, with particular pains in creating patents and lab work. Professor Daisy Fleita experiences these issues firsthand. Uh, this is the, depending on the lab space and so on. But we have a problem now that we have a, a shortage in, chemi in chemicals, shortage in uh, you know, small units of uh, equipment. Sometimes we are uh, leaving some experiments and we try to get with whatever available. Uh, we try to manage, you know, it's a problem. The, even the hot plates and the, the balances and all this, and you know, very simple equipment, you can find it in any office in the university uh, abroad. But here we have very limited number. The lack of resources has also been aggravated by the increase of students entering the field. Classrooms are no longer fully equipped to provide a high standard learning environment as it had once been able to. Much people in the department, so they're not willing to, uh, to have much resources. Or they're not encouraged to buy uh, new equipment and stuff because Already the number of people in the chemistry department are very low. Even lacking essential updates to fundamental lab equipments like a nuclear magnetic resonance machine, which all labs must possess in order to teach organic chemistry. While all departments have suffered due to budget cuts, the chemistry department's loss is multiplied. But students are never turned away, and classes continue to be taught at the best of their capabilities. Farah al-Tukhi, AUC-TV.